Okay, hello and welcome to another uh, Blender Game Engine tutorial. Uh, this will be the second video in a series of Blender Game Engine tutorials that we'll be doing. Uh, this one is going to be covering a little more advanced things. Uh, not too advanced, uh, it's the intermediate level. Okay, so uh, we have a lot to cover, so let's get started. Uh, the first thing I want you to do is you're going to have your default scene here. I want you to uh, switch to front view. Alright, and once in front view, there we go. Once you're in front view, uh, go ahead and go into edit mode by hitting tab and subdivide your square twice. And once you have that subdivided twice, I want you to select these bottom parts. By the way, we're creating a character. <laughs> if you haven't figured that out already, we're going to be creating a character for our game. Uh, go ahead and move these down here. We're creating legs. All right. Second thing I want you to do is select the side here and extrude that. Out, make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Can extrude it out to that line. That'd be awesome. There we go. And then do the same for this one. Extrude it out to that line. Make it a little bit smaller. You don't have to be perfect. Not for this. Not for our purposes. And then extrude his head up. Like that. Alright. Now go back in the top view. Select all. And let's make him skinnier by sizing him down on the y-axis, I think it is. Alright, now once we have that done, uh, go ahead and exit edit mode. Uh, go to add modifier and hit subsurf. And then uh, set him smooth. And we have our character. Alright, that's going to be our clay man. Uh, for this, uh, we're not going to do anything fancy. Uh, we're just going to add a simple color to him. Uh, let's make him orange. Alright. Okay, go back in the front view. Uh, now there's a couple ways to do this, uh, you can find more on the web, I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail, this is just the quickest, easiest way to do it. Go into wireframe mode, we're going to add bones, okay, there's a way that you can set up an x-ray uh, when you're doing a lot of intricate boning and stuff, but for this we're just going to use the wireframe mode. Okay, uh, go ahead and make sure your cursor is in the center of your character, dead center like that, alright, uh, add armature, alright, go into edit mode bring the uh, top ball up here up to his head and extrude it like that just keep hitting E to extrude the edge alright we're just gonna make a basic skeleton doesn't have to be fancy uh, not for our purposes uh, we're just showing the fundamentals of this alright so once you have a character armature like mine you should be good to go all centered inside make sure he's centered inside his body alright I want you to right click on your mesh of your character and then shift right click on the armatures and parent. Uh, make parent to armature and then create from bone heat. This is going to do all the weight painting for you. Uh, you can find, I have a tutorial on how to do weight paint if you're really interested in it. Uh, but for this we're just going to use bone heat. And as you can see, uh, if you did it similar to mine, it should all be done and your character is completely rigged for you. All right. Just go ahead and test it out, take a look, make sure it's good to go. Okay, next thing we're going to do, now that he's all rigged up, is we're going to set him in his idle position, which for me, his arms are going to be down like this. That's going to be his idle position when he's in the game. This is how he's going to stand. Okay, once you have his idle position, uh, go ahead and split the screens up here, go into Action Editor, and I like to split it one more time here and go back into 3D so I can get another perspective on what's going on. Uh, let's see, right there, should be good. And I like to make this uh, solid, so I can see what it's going to look like as I'm doing it. Okay, uh, for, we're going to make a walk cycle real quick, okay? Uh, I still have another six minutes, so let's do this. Um, what we want to do is we want to set all the bones, walk scale rotate, uh, for the first frame, okay? This goes by frames. Uh, go ahead and advance to frame 5, and then grab his leg, switch into side view, move his leg forward, then move his other leg back, and then move his arm opposite of the leg. There we go. And then select all bones, lock scale rotate. Alright, and then you can, 
it, your walk cycle is up to you on how you want to do it. Uh, I prefer to make mine a little more detailed. Oh, make sure you advance the frames or you'll have that happen. All right, uh, advance the frame 10. Move everything back. All right, hock scale rotate and then do the opposite, all right? Select all, lock scale rotate, advance to frame 15. All right, and then uh, select all and lock scale rotate, okay? And we'll start at frame one and we'll see what we have here. And as you can see, we have a very basic walk cycle with him returning to the beginning. Now what's cool about this is we don't have to continue to do it. You can just go over here to your action editor, hit shift D, and uh, just line those up and it should be a complete walk cycle like that. See? Too easy. Uh, just make sure those are lined up and then uh, go ahead and select all and shift uh, D it again, duplicate it again, and bring it out to, uh, let's see, it looks like frame 55, give or take. Let's see how that looks. 